Hi, I'm Liz. I'm Emma. I'm Graham. I'm Nico. And I'm Ayana. And this is CS News. What is astronomy? Astronomy is the human science of trying to understand space and the cosmos. It's understanding planets, how they work, how they're formed, it's understanding stars, how they form their lives, their deaths. Uh, deaths of stars are very interesting things to think about. How chemicals are formed in stars, what we can see when we look out into the universe at night with our telescopes. That's all of astronomy is everything that's beyond our Earth. Okay. Um, what got you into astronomy? Geez, that's a hard question. As a kid, I was a nerd. I was a Star Trek fan. I loved Star Wars. I played with Legos and build aliens and robots and spaceships and those kind of things. And I guess I, I always just wonder what the universe could be like if, if aliens exist, what other planets are like, if there are worlds that are much unlike ours or very much like ours. And I think that just drove me in the long run to want to become a scientist. Interesting. Uh, what are you focusing on right now? Right now I am doing research in the Canadian High Arctic on an El uh, island called Ellesmere Island. It's the 10th largest island on the planet, almost the highest landmass on the planet. And on this island, in a very specific region of it towards the north side of the island, there is a north-south valley where a glacier extends down. And every summer for about the past 20 years or so, we've noticed that yellow sulfur starts to form on the ice by the glacier. And at first we had no idea where that sulfur was coming from. Later we found out that waters that flow from the subsurface out onto the ice are bringing high levels of sulfide along. It's a form of elemental sulfur. Uh, and this, this sulfur is then collecting and forming large yellow stained mats on top of the ice's surface. And what I'm interested in is studying the microbiology, the organisms that are present in this glacial setting, and what they're doing in processing this sulfur and forming these large mats of elemental sulfur. I think Europa is one of the most appealing objects in our solar system right now. There are other places that we think we can look for life in our solar system, like Mars is a great candidate. Uh, a moon called Titan, it's a moon of Saturn, is also a great candidate. But to me, Europa might be one of the most promising places because we're certain that liquid water exists in some form in the subsurface of this moon. Uh, Europa is a small moon of Jupiter with a, a, this really deep ocean down below. We think the icy crust is about maybe 10 kilometers, and then the ocean itself is maybe 120 kilometers in depth. Uh, to give you an idea, our ocean is at most 5 kilometers in depth. And so Europa's ocean, even though Europa is a small moon compared to our planet, Europa's global ocean would be larger than ours by a lot. So we heard there might be life on Mars. Yeah, some of us think there really might be. You know, there was a period of time in human history where we thought that little green men might exist on the surface of Mars. The planet evoked a lot of thoughts from people about the potential for extraterrestrial life and what it could mean if, say, these little green men had canals around Mars and were transporting water from the poles down to the equator. But we now don't think that's the case. We don't think little green men really exist. And now what we're looking for... I think we got frozen. Wait, where's Graham? I don't know, wasn't he there? He was right here. He, he can't just disappear in thin air. We, we need to go find him. Come on, let's, let's look around the college. Alright guys, we need to split up and find Graham. And we need to hurry before something bad happens. Okay, let's go! Come on here! I come from Macaroni. I'm looking for a place to move to. Is there some place hospitable in your solar system? Some icy worlds okay. in the solar system you might like. Uh, there's nothing of atmospheres on top of these icy surfaces on places like Europa uh, and Ganymede and Callisto. And, and there's a really cold place, but it's full of hydrocarbons. I don't know if you like to drink oil and methane. 
Um, but we have a, a world called Titan you might really enjoy that has a lot of atmosphere. Um, might be good for flying if you're into that kind of thing. Do you like flying? Well then if you strap some wings on your arms, you could just flap really hard and maybe fly away in a place like Titan where the atmospheric pressure is 1.5 bar, which is 150% of the atmospheric pressure you feel right now in this, this world around you. He's probably in there. Let's go! Please do, tell them to come visit. I'd like to talk to aliens. Oh, great. And I'm sorry I was wrong about little green men not existing. Ah, that's alright. We're kind of on the taller side anyway. I see. 